Hi, I'm Gizzy and welcome back to World Dish. As you probably know if you've been keeping up with us, we've been talking about all things Peru. If you want to follow our journey, then you just click in the eye right here and you can have a look and see where we've been and what we've been up to. But in front of me, I've got this array of incredible ingredients, all of them Peruvian. Some, dare I say it, are superfoods. I hate that word, but it's true. I want to show you some of the key things that Peruvians love to cook with and what makes them so good for you. So I'm going to start off with this. This is Sacha Inchi oil. Probably never heard of it. I hadn't until a few weeks ago. It's one of the tastiest oils I've ever had. It's got more omega-3 than any other seed in the world. That's brilliant. That's just brain-boosting food for you right there. Really great for dressing things like your ceviche. You can use it on if you're making like a quinoa salad. It's a brilliant way to use it in that. So next up we've got this guy. I mean, I really cannot imagine my life or even my day now without it. Everyone's going avocado nuts right now. Avocado full of vitamin A, D and E. It's got cholesterol lowering properties. A lot of people are now using these in place of butter. It's just an all round good healthy heart food. You know, it's really great for your heart. Not only that, it tastes fantastic. I use it in everything from a smoothie to salads to guacamole and ceviche. It's a brilliant, brilliant food. You can even make cakes from it. Next up, we've got the Amarillo chili. We're not that familiar with these here, unless you're all really up on Peruvian food, although you're starting to see them more and more. Brilliant in everything from pickles to sauces to salsa, um, dressings. You'll see these in ceviche. They come in various forms, dried, fresh obviously, and uh, powdered actually. These are great for various reasons. First of all, they are great for your digestion. Chilies fire up your furnace and they boost metabolism. They also um, stop swelling and pain. But these are really delicious. They're fruitier and smokier than most chilies that you know. Really good fun ingredient to cook with. So if you're up on your Inca history, you'll know that Peru is famous for its potatoes. Now, it homes over 3,000 varieties. Some classic things we know, little waxy white potato, these red skin ones here, and also these guys, I love this one, it's like a little worm friend, um, purple potatoes. And what people don't realise is that they're full of vitamin C, much more nutritious than you think with regards to its vitamin content. They're also full of fibre, they have cholesterol lowering properties, and also they're led to I'm led to believe that they're actually really good for anti-ageing, so I'm going to be scoffing a lot more of these. We all know red onions, this is a red onion, and uh, Peruvians love to use it in their cooking over the white onion, like we would choose. Um, it's got more antioxidants, it's also really good for inflammation, but it's also uh, makes your body produce good cholesterol, which then keeps your heart healthy. You'd have to be blind to have not noticed the introduction of maca powder into so many things in this country, but the Peruvians have sworn by it as their sort of hidden secret for years. It's got rejuvenating properties, or at least they believe this. Um, I think the way that we should translate it is it's great for energy. We're seeing it in things like smoothies, smoothie bowls, tiny bit of raw baking. That's a place to have it. Now, we, we get it like this over here in this powder form, so it is easy in those sort of ways. But in Peru, they eat it like a root vegetable, and I'd much rather see us eating it more like that over here. So limes, it's probably your, your second seasoning in Peru. Everything is limey and acidic, which is brilliant. I love that kind of cooking. Um, your lime has loads of vitamin C, so you know when you have lemons or limes, it's really great for cold prevention. Also brilliant for your liver, okay? It's brilliant for cleansing all your internal organs. You drink lime or you eat lots of lime, it sort of cleanses you from the inside out. Now, another thing we sadly only get in powdered form over here, this is lacuma. It's actually a fruit. Now, lacuma is really, really sweet. I mean, it's super, super sweet, which is great. We're using it over here as a sugar replacement, but not only is it sweet, it's great for so many things. It's great for your skin. Um, it's great for your digestion. It's also full of vitamin B, and it's stuffed full of fibre as well, which is kind of pretty cool for the fact that this is a sugar substitute in a way. So we've got quinoa here, which uh, everybody is using. Like, it's, it's kind of quite funny, even my mum's old friends are. The reason it's so great is because it's full of both fibre and protein. And it's full of magnesium, which is great for relaxing your blood vessels and also easing achy muscles. Great one if you go to the gym a lot. Life without this guy would be a pretty sad place. It's coriander, it's antibacterial, it's antifungal, it's uh, great for clearing up your skin, and it's also great for making you not have smelly breath. And last but not least, we've got chia seeds. I kind of can't work out if I love them or loathe them. 
chia pudding, one of my worst things to eat ever, but I kind of see how they have their place when used properly. Now these guys are full of protein. Now protein is great for muscle regrowth. They also hold loads of water, so when you actually use them in things like that horrible chia pudding, they are really hydrating. Um, they are full of fibre and they are also full of omega oils. They are frustratingly worth putting in our superfood. I hope you've learned something today. If there's anything else you want to know, just let me know. Um, otherwise, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And for any more recipes and things about Peru, you just need to click here. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.